Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna compare the Motorola's new Moto E5 Play and the Nokia 2. The official price of the E5 Play is not out yet, while the Nokia is costing about $100. So let's get into the video and starting off with the construction. Both handsets are coming with plastic bags and on both it is removable, but the battery is not removable on the Nokia 2 versus it is on the E5 Play. And as for the frame, it's gonna be aluminum frame on the Nokia versus it's not exactly confirmed yet for the E5 Play but according to most of the sources, the handset is coming with plastic body. The E5 Play is coming with 5.2 inch screen versus it's 5 inches on the Nokia 2 and it's 16 by 9 in aspect ratio on both handsets. So as for the size of the handsets, the E5 Play is gonna be slightly larger than the Nokia. Both handsets are coming with huge bezels and low screen to body ratios and as for the weight, the Nokia 2 is gonna be slightly more heavier. We are gonna have on screen control keys on both handsets for navigation and the Nokia 2 is not coming with the fingerprint scanner versus it's on the back on the Moto E5 and the handset is coming with front facing loudspeaker which is gonna be the earpiece versus it's on the back on the Nokia 2. For connectivity, both handsets are coming with micro USB ports along with the headphone jack and at last to protect these from water, the E5 is gonna have water repellent nano coating which makes it splash proof versus the Nokia is IP52 certified also being splash proof but these are not gonna be fully water resistant so don't submerge these in water. The display is IPS LCD on both handsets with HD 720p resolution so the screen sharpness is gonna be almost the same as well and to protect these screens there's gonna be Gorilla Glass 3 on the Nokia 2 versus the E5 Play does not have Gorilla Glass protection. As for the performance aspects and we are gonna have the Snapdragon 425 slash Snapdragon 427 on the E5 Play versus its Snapdragon 212 on the Nokia and yes, the 212 is not gonna be as fast as the Snapdragon 425, which is already a low-end chipset. And as for the RAM, the Nokia is gonna struggle here as well with its 1GB of RAM compared to the 2GB of RAM on the E5 Play. The internal storage is 8GB on the Nokia 2 versus its 16GB on the Moto E5, and both handsets support micro SD card. Now coming to the camera and it's gonna be 8 megapixels on both handsets and it's gonna be autofocus on both. The video recording resolution is gonna be 1080p on the E5 Play versus it's 720p on the Nokia 2. And as for the front camera, it's gonna be 5 megapixels on both handsets where the E5 Play is also coming with an LED flash. At last for the battery and the Nokia is coming with a massive 4100 mAh battery compared to the 2800 mAh on the E5 Play. So the backup time is definitely gonna be higher on the Nokia. And as for the fast charging, both handsets are coming with 5 volts, 2 amperes charging. So the E5 Play is gonna recharge faster because of its smaller battery. While on the other hand, the Nokia is gonna take a really long time to recharge because of its huge battery. So this is it for this video guys. Let me know what do you guys think about both handsets and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.